it's a small step for mankind, but it's a giant leap for Oscar. Um, welcome uh, to uh, Studio Oscar and I have bought a 3D printer. So after many years of using 3D printers of other people and services um, and after convincing by George Miller and Robert Bakker, I finally bought my own 3D printer which is a Dutchy 3D printer. I got some uh, filament. Actually I uh, already got the training and so I have a maze design which is called Fractal Maze uh, on here. So uh, the box has just arrived. So what you're going to see is an unboxing video and one of the things that I'm curious about is how fast will I go from unboxing to having the printer operational. So start your timers. And we'll just uh, ignore the phone. So, uh, so here we uh, have the um, we can subtract that uh, from the timing that was really uh, awkward. So here we have the box and it's a bit hard to see what's inside the box so some plastic and here we have some materials for making more spools, a mat, and there we have the printer. So as you can see from the brand, it's a Dutchy printer and it should be uh, ready to go. So this is something I'm going to uh, try. Display part off and let's see. It looks like uh, I still need to disconnect it from the board. So that's the packing material. One, two, three, and let's see. Yeah, it's off. So the Dutchy. It has a magnet mat. So, and now it's dust free. It looks like it has already been sprayed and one puzzle has been made on it. So, I bought some uh, adhesive spray, or actually, I got this from uh, Dutchy. So, I'm going to spray it a bit. That should be enough. Let it dry. In the meantime, I'm going to connect the Dutch printer, turn it on, let's see whether it says beep, yes it says beep which means that it's uh, ready to go. Uh, next step is to prepare the filament, well let's uh, first uh, turn on the heater. Yeah, so now the extruder is heating up while I'm uh, preparing the rest of it. Insert filament into the tube. So far so good. Insert filament into the printer. This is a bit hard to see but uh, there's here a place where I can insert it. Yeah. Well, it's not uh, not yet uh, preheated. Uh, let's uh, test the functionality. Can I move it up? Yeah, it moves. And it's quite silent, so uh, that's good. Uh, so now we uh, need to be a bit uh, patient because it's still uh, heating up. In the meantime I will put my uh, um, fractal cube model in here. Yeah, it fits. And let's see. Ah, ready to print error. Please try again. 
I put it in upside down, silly me. Loading, and it says here is a bunch of models, this is the model that I've prepared. So uh, um, that works too, let's see how far are we with the preheating. It should be preheated to 220 degrees Celsius, we are at uh, 174, so we are already uh, very close to do uh, some uh, extrusion uh, tests. Meanwhile, uh, let me put the mouth back into onto the machine. Yeah, there we are. And it's magnetic, so it should it's very easy to take off, to take off models, to put them uh, back on. Yeah, we are now at uh, temperature. So let's go to extrudes. Go. So hopefully you see the material getting extruded out of here. This is exactly uh, what uh, I had hoped for and what is uh, actually happening. So um, extrude test uh, has succeeded. We have the math here. So let's go to print. I select a model, uh, the fractal maze. It takes one hour and twenty minutes. Confirm that you want to print. Confirm. And uh, from here on it's just uh, Let's wait and see what happens. It starts uh, with depositing a brim. So far so good and now it uh, should uh, go on and uh, start making the maze and uh, well as you can hear or probably not hear uh, the machine hardly makes uh, any noise and um, actually the machine will solve the maze 20 times using the right hand rule because uh, well um, it's a 30 layer maze so uh, uh, hopefully after the 30 layers uh, everything works fine. So. Uh, I'll sit here just uh, for a while and see uh, what's happening. So the claim of Dutchie is that uh, the machine should work immediately out of the box without any tuning, tinkering or whatsoever. So uh, hopefully uh, this shows whether that works. And of course as everybody knows the first layer is uh, the important layer. So I'm not sure whether you can uh, hear the machine because it's uh, really very silent so I'll take off my microphone and I'll put it close up. Okay, I hope it's uh, hearable, you hear the motors a bit humming but if you were sleeping in the same room then most likely uh, it wouldn't bother you. So it's uh, depositing the first layer. So far so good as, uh, as I can judge. But uh, the interesting part will uh, be uh, when it has done uh, one full turn of the maze and whether the filling uh, goes well and uh, once we have seen that it's doing the first layer well then uh, well, we'll just speed up the video and I'll get back to you uh, when we're finished. So okay there we have the first layer and now it's starting with the filling up and this is the part where things uh, are getting exciting. Uh, I can't see it yet but uh, because the motor is over it but at this moment I don't see anything that uh, feels awkward. Everything looks well, so uh, uh, please continue watching and see how the maze is uh, solved many times in a row and uh, get back to you in about an hour.
so um, the 3D print is ready. So um, so far so good. So let's look at uh, how it comes out. Uh, here's the 3D print. Opening it looks fine. So far so good. I think I uh, reserved a little steel ball. Let me see where did I put it. Here it is. So um, what I've printed is a uh, maze. Here you see it. It's the fractal maze and it's made for these uh, three millimeter tiny balls. So what I try is I put the ball in the maze and as you can see here it goes through the maze and it works. So what you see here is uh, apparently a successful 3D print uh, made on my Dutchy uh, 3D printer. Uh, I took the printer out of the box, I've put it here, I've started it uh, and it worked. That's uh, amazing. Um, the Dutchy 3D printer was made for education, so uh, teachers are supposed to have not too much work on operating the machine. It's uh, supposed to be very robust. Um, you can lift it uh, while it's printing. Well, at this moment uh, it's not printing, but uh, you get the idea. Um, it's also very uh, safe uh, when you get your hand in between, then, um, well, uh, it won't squash uh, anything. Um, what else? Uh, they tell that even uh, if you just uh, disconnect the power supply while it's printing like this and you put this power supply back in that it continues uh, printing. So that's also an amazing uh, property. So uh, finally one thing to do is to ask your, you a question. So do you have a 3D printer at home? And if so, what was your experience with getting started with a 3D printer? Thank you for watching.